Well, I'm at it again. I just came out here, made a video. I didn't fucking record. I mean, it recorded. It just only recorded two minutes of it, and it was like probably like a 10 minute video. Uh, so, genuinely, Steve, thank you for making that video, and I'm sorry it took me over a year to get back to you. Isn't that weird? I think all my videos are set to auto accept video responses now, which kind of like makes it easier, but kind of sucks because I don't get a notification when I get an email or when I get a video response. So, sorry about that. Um, I wanted to explain though, because I just rewatched that healing video through the sunlight. So you said how I made that correlation uh, from um, being toxified and then talking about water and air. I was uh, like, I, I, I think when uh, when we focus on stuff, that it kind of takes, it, it, it kind of, I guess, manifests, which that's a word I haven't used in a while. Um, actually kind of solidifies around you or, or uh, conditionalizes or hardenifies or whatever you want to fucking say. It like, uh, so what, what I was doing was it, what I was feeling sick and I started to immediately, like I kind of trained myself like to heal. Like the most important thing is to heal my body, to make sure I'm healthy. That's the top priority for me is health, that I want to be healthy all the time. I, you know, I mean, yeah, you, you might, get hit by a car, you might get shot, you might get killed somehow, but most likely you're not going to get killed. You're going to die from some kind of internal cause at some later time, most likely, I think, for all of us. And really, if that's the case, if you stay healthy, you'll just live a long time. So stay healthy. And um, so that being said, I guess in that moment, what happened was I kind of trained myself. So it was like muscle memory, like I was sick, I was toxic, and I was thinking about toxic, and then I immediately thought about the water in my body, and the air that I was breathing, and the oxygen, and all the things that that could do, or that I thought that it could do, or that I hoped that it could do. So that was how I made that jump. That was why I made that jump. It was like a healing step, and it might have seemed weird to someone else, because it was kind of a personal thing. Um, and the other question you had was, uh, oh my god, I love it. Uh, <laughs> was uh, how I talk to people. And that's such an interesting question because um, it's been on my mind a lot. Like I actually have had kind of a hard time talking to people lately. I, and by lately, I mean like the last couple of years or few years because of YouTube and probably more because of the drugs than because of YouTube, uh, particularly marijuana. Mushrooms is, were kind of strange. I, I, don't, I mean, I don't do mushrooms that much. I haven't done them in a long time. Um, they're kind of cool. They're kind of weird mushrooms, but they're really great. They're, they're really good for you in, a, in small amounts. I mean, mushrooms in general are really good for you in small amounts. They, they're such an interesting organism, mushrooms, man. How they, how they grow underneath the surface, how there's like that mysogenic core or whatever. Uh, the cortex, I guess. Stretching all throughout a mushroom field underneath the surface. Uh, but the weed kind of fucked me up. And it, but really, and also I tell you, man, making videos like I did, it changed me and it changed the way I interacted with people. And in one way it was kind of cool because I was in a new place. I just kind of moved to LA. Well, I'd been in LA like a year when I started making videos. And uh, I, I kind of had an opportunity to, to reform myself and, and to create this character of who I wanted to be. All at the same time, like my big Los Angeles debut, you know, my big entertainment industry debut. I've been doing theater up to that point. I hadn't done uh, much. I did some short films and stuff, but I hadn't done much movies or TV before that. And so I did this like analytic character because I'm, I'm, I'm good at analyzing. I've always been good at it. Um, so I really took to the extreme, you know. <laughs> you may know that. You probably know that. And uh, so what would happen was the girl that I'd been with for like seven years or six years or something before that didn't like the change. It, she thought I was overanalyzing. And um, so then I started to think I was overanalyzing. And then this other girl came over, uh, Rebecca, who, you know, the name, but, but just, I met another girl that I liked just about as much as Amanda. 
um, like emotionally, but she didn't think I was overanalyzing. She, I mean, she didn't think I was overanalyzing. She, she kind of liked the, the analyzation process and would analyze stuff with me. And, but then what I did was probably because of the drugs, I think, I just kept going. Like I pushed it too far. I kept analyzing and analyzing and then analyze what I analyzed. And you can always analyze what you analyze. So you got to be careful not to do that. And I think marijuana maybe makes, makes you spin. Well, made me spin because of how much I did it. A little bit, it was great because I spun. I'd spin once and you need to do that every once in a while. But I, I did, I pushed it too far and I got really weird. And um, after that point, she kind of backed off and was like, get, you know, get it together. Um, I start. I had a really hard time for a long time communicating with people because I felt like, like I couldn't do it. Like what was the point? Because if I, if I tried to talk to people, I was just going to overanalyze and ruin it and push them away. And, and only recently have I started to realize that that's really a choice and it's really a, a drug issue for me. If I'm in, if I'm too into the drugs, if I'm, uh, even a little bit, I'm okay. But, uh, if I get too into the drugs, I, uh, I can't, I can't coherently like go from topic to topic with people. I get stuck on topics. So, you know, I cleared my mind out, especially the last few days and the last week or so. And, and uh, actually the last few months, like I, I, I dropped the ball a few times. I bought a bag of weed or I split a bag of weed and fucking got jacked up for a week. And that sucked. Like this last video I put up on YouTube was in that phase this last week. So I'm really making a concerted effort to stay focused. Yeah, I can drink alcohol. Apparently I can drink alcohol pretty, you know, you don't want to overdo that either. I got a tendency to kind of go far with things when I go with them. Um, alcohol is okay. It's it's not it doesn't fuck up the mind too much. It's a real body thing. And I like to dance. Um, but yeah, man, I don't even need that stuff. I don't need alcohol or drugs, really. You know, I mean, I need you need chemicals all the time. Where every, everything is a big chemical reaction. Everything, everything, high fiving, walking. It's all chemical reaction, man. So the chemicals you use, you got to be real potent. You got to be uh, specific and, and calm and, and take care of yourself with them. Or I, I, you know, I, I, I got to do that for myself. Um, but you know, I'm to a place now where I'm like, God, it's so warm in the sun, man. Where I feel good. I feel like I can communicate again, and I can listen to people, and and beyond listen to people, like talk to them, and and ask them uh, what they're doing and about themselves and um kind of go along with them instead of instead of getting stuck on my thing so i appreciate you you asking the questions because it's good to say these things out loud to, to reaffirm them for myself and it'll be fun to watch this video that i'm making and, and be like yay ian you're not such a bad guy after all hey there's a cat you see him crossing the street i want to get a cat again all right see you